Hey guys, it's William here with a pretty urgent video. So some of you might remember the video I made where my old friends Jalen Hills, Jeffrey Olara, and Tuse Bush got fired from their presidential positions that they earned at Durham College and how DCSI just fired them for no, no good reason and without any proper notice. Well, basically, I have a bit more information for you. So basically, now DCSI, or Durham College Students, Inc., is trying to pass this new bylaw that they kind of acted upon because they sped th it through. Basically, it says that if you are elected a student president, basically, it has some obfuscated terms, but if they don't like you, or they don't like what you stand for, then they have the right to just shut you out. The thing is, they have to get student votes to pass this through. They just acted upon it early, they say. I mean, yeah, this is all just a bunch of excuses. But to, to explain that excuse, they're trying to pass this law through. Now, you might be thinking, who would vote for something like that? Well, the thing is, they're just trying to sneak it through. They're, they haven't really advertised it much at all. So they are they are doing it November 16th, which is this Friday. But the thing is, if enough people say no to this, then not only will they not be able to fire any students because they don't like them or whatever, but Jalen and Jeffrey and Tuesday supposedly can get their jobs back because the law that they made to fire them will become null and void. But, I mean, they themselves have said this is much more than them just getting their jobs back. It's about students being able to express themselves and express their ideas and be taken seriously when they can. So Jalen, Jeffrey, and Tuse made quite a few videos on their GIG God is Good Life channel, and I'm going to share one that they just made today. It's very awesome and very informative, and yes. And so if you want to stand with us, then on Friday, November 16th, whether you're a Durham College student, a UOIT student, or just outside, um, come to the part of Durham College that says the Gordon Wiley Building. It's right by this big bus roundabout. You can't miss it. And we'll be standing by the Canadian flag at 9 a.m. If you end up a little late, we'll probably still be there. But let's all do this. And everyone say, not today, DCSI. Not today, DCSI. So hope you enjoy the video, and I hope I can see you. And just let's do this to make sure that to make sure that no one ends up mistreated or discriminated against like my friends were. Attention, attention, all students. We need your help. Durham College Student Inc., also known as DCSI, on November 16th, wants to take away all student rights. Not just student rights, your rights. But if you don't stand up for your rights now, just like we were terminated, you will also be terminated too. You're telling me DCSI is misusing students' dollars, trying to take away our rights, terminating our student leaders, and there's more? This corruption needs to stop. Not today, DCSI. Nobody's saying anything. Why? Where is our money going? What is management and the board doing with student dollars? I've only seen discounted Blue Jay tickets and bake sales. What about the $5 million from the students? I'm here to make a difference. So say it with me. Not today, DCSI. Not today, DCSI. Not today, DCSI.